Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video we are going to do some science. Physics more specifically and whether an item will sink or float to be even more precise. Now today's experiment is so much fun to do and quite simple to put together. All you'll need is a place to store a lot of water. In this case I've used a basin but you can use any item at all to store your water. Your sink, your bath, bucket, paddling pool, swimming pool, anything, as long as it's an item that holds a lot of water. The second thing you'll need are items to put into your water to decide whether it's going to sink or float. Now, the main thing we are trying to discover today is whether an item has buoyancy. Now, buoyancy is a term in physics that describes a type of force known as an upthrust force. This is an upward force generated by fluid, in this case water, when an item is submerged in it. Now, if the item is lighter than the water, it will float, and if it's heavier, it will sink. Now, in today's experiment, I am using a lime, a pen, a sweet potato, a sponge, a red onion, a comb, and a lemon. And what I want us to do is to guess whether the item will sink or float before I put it in the water to see how well we can guess. Now let's start with our line. I don't know the answer to any of this either. I'm guessing at the same time as you. So let's look at our line. It's round like a ball and usually a ball would float in water. But when I'm holding the line, it does feel like there's a lot inside it. So I'm not sure. I think it's going to sink. But there's only one way to find out. Let's see if the lime sinks or floats. So it's doing some bouncing. Well, what I've discovered is that the lime has sunk. That means that the lime is not buoyant. It doesn't have buoyancy. Now, let's take our lime out. I've also put a towel to the side so that I don't completely soak my table. I'll just pop that over there. So, our lime sinks. Now let's take a look at the second item, a pen. Pens are usually quite light, and this is a pen that's actually ran out of ink, so I have no plans of using it in the future. So, what are our guesses? Will it sink or will it float? I'm going to say it's going to float, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. After three, one, two, three, now, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to actually try and move the pen to this side of the basin. But if you can see that, the pen is actually floating. It's staying at the top of the water, which means it is buoyant. It has buoyancy, which means it's lighter than the water. And the upthrust force has helped it stay afloat. Let's take our pen out and go to our next item. Our next item is a very big sweet potato. Now, I'm hoping that we can guess together. If our lime has sunk, what do you think will happen to our sweet potato? Which I think is a lot heavier than the lime. I think this is going to sink. But let's find out together, because again, I actually don't know. So let's see, one, two, three. <gasps> well, would you look at that. Our sweet potato actually floats, which means it has buoyancy. Our lime sunk. Our pen floats. Our sweet potato also floats. How fascinating. Now that's, a, that's something I didn't think was going to happen. But that's the fun thing about science. It's the discovery of it. It's looking at things and seeing how they work. The next thing is a sponge, which I hope lots of you at home have used to wash some dishes to help your grown-ups out. But this, I hope, from my educated guess, will float. It feels very light, it's very airy, I think it's going to float. But let's find out together after three. One, two, three. And of course, it floats. It's staying above the water. It has buoyancy. It's buoyant. It's able to stay afloat. That was a nice easy one. Our next one, I'm now not sure, because our sweet potato floated. Maybe our, 
Red Onion will as well. But who knows? I want to guess that this will sink, but I think I might be wrong. Will it float or will it sink? Let's find out. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? Our red onion actually floats. I wonder if the same would happen with another type of onion, our white onion or the brown onion. If you do that experiment home, please let me know in the comments below. So, so far, we have a lime that sinks, a pen that floats, a sweet potato that also floats, a sponge that definitely floats, and a red onion that also floats. How fascinating. Most of the things I've picked up unknowingly float in water. Now, our next one, a comb. Now, the shape of this and the weight of this feel like they should float, but will it float? Let's find out. One, two, three. And that up thrust force that I was talking about is helping the item stay afloat. Again, we are seeing that this item has buoyancy. I don't know if you can actually see that this item has buoyancy, so I'll move the item to this side of the basin. But it's right here at the very top of the water. Now, last but not least, our lemon. Do you think the lemon will sink or do you think the lemon will float? Let's look back at our lime. Our lime sunk. Our lime went to the bottom of the water. What do you think will happen to our lemon? I wonder if the same thing as the lime will happen. There's only one way to find out. After three, one, two, three. Oh, it's bouncing a lot. But looking at it, our lemon is floating. It's staying at the top of the water. That means that our lemon has buoyancy. It's buoyant. Now, here is a fun fact about these two pieces of fruit. Although the same size and the same shape, you would think the same thing would happen when they go in the water. But these two things have different densities. Now, when something is more dense, it means a lot of things are packed inside it and it's really, really, really solid and heavy. When it's less dense, it's a bit, it has a bit more space for air. So, with that, when we put both these items in, although they do little bounces, the lemon stays at the top of the water and the lime has went to the bottom. How fascinating was that? Did you guess correctly whether the item sinks or floats for all the items? Let me know how you got on in the comments below. And as always, take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.